tomorrow. Youth season swim passes start at $30. Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, after some early morning clouds and a few leftover sprinkles, just not wanting to give up, we really broke into a beautiful day today. The breeze is picking up a bit, but it's really nice outside this afternoon. Temperatures are below average, but that sun is a lot higher in the sky. The day is longer, so the afternoon still feels warmer with all that strong sunshine. In the 60s right now in the Cherisha Valley, only 64 showing up in Boise. It uh, looks like we will probably peak around 67, 68. It was a little warmer earlier. 52 in Stanley, 49 degrees in McCall right now. A little chilly in those higher elevations. And only 67 in Twin Falls. Some of the stronger winds are blowing in the Magic Valley right now. Look at light winds in the Western Valley, Ontario, Homedale, but 13 mile an hour wind gusting to 20 in Boise and uh, sustained winds up to 25 miles an hour out of the northwest near Mountain Home. Tomorrow we'll have a similar wind profile. Winds will be fairly light early, but we'll pick up especially Ada County eastward and getting breezier the further you go east of Boise towards Mountain Home during the day tomorrow. We'll get those breezy conditions, but dry weather is working its way in. Plenty of sunshine. Dry air means cooler nights, but warmer afternoons. Tomorrow will get a few degrees warmer, but then it will get significantly warmer over the weekend and beyond as that low pressure is slowly moving away to the east, but the dry weather will win out in this case, and so we're in pretty good shape to the west. Warmer weather will start to build on in with this high pressure ridge to our south. That'll warm things up, and this cloud cover will then go well to our north and west, and we will be setting ourselves up for I almost could call it a heat wave by the middle latter part of next week as temperatures will top 90 degrees in my extended forecast. I'll show you that coming up in a bit. I want to first of all shift to the east again. Another tornado outbreak during the day today. No fatalities being reported, but there have been uh, several tornado touchdowns. At one point there were, I saw I counted about 10 active tornado warnings. Right now there are three tornado warnings. Extreme eastern portions of uh, Oklahoma has been under the gun. Arkansas have been under the gun today as well. But these lines here, this Boeing line, you see this right here? If this holds together and hits Chicago, that could be 75 to 80 mile an hour winds going through downtown Chicago as this moves through. These can be very long lived, so we're watching this very closely here. May not be a tornado in here, but when you see a line bow out like that, right at the bow there at the comma shape, that's where you get the strongest winds over 75 miles an hour easily. That may happen here. There's been golf ball to softball size hail. And some locations. We'll keep an eye on that. Clear skies across the valley for Friday afternoon. Moving ahead to Saturday afternoon, a few high clouds may drift on by, but mostly sunny skies into Sunday. More of the same. Maybe some clouds. Riggins northward. Uh, by the way, it is the uh, big water blowout in Riggins this weekend, and that'll be on Saturday. Should be some nice weather for it, though, during the day on Saturday. Drier, warmer weather coming in for Friday as this high pressure ridge begins to cut off all the moisture, and it gets hotter as we head towards the end of the weekend into the beginning of next week. Look at my forecast for the Treasure Valley tomorrow. 74 in Ontario. Beautiful day in Ontario. But the further east you go, breezier and a little cooler because of that breeze. But still a nice day tomorrow. Highs near 70 with lows in the 40s and sunshine most of the day. West Central Mountains, 50s to lower 60s. A chilly morning in Long Valley, especially Riggins gets up to 70 tomorrow. Into the 70s to uh, the 80s uh, in some points over the weekend. The Magic Valley tomorrow, sunshine. West winds at 15 to 30 miles an hour. It's going to be a little bit gusty as well in the Magic Valley. The strongest winds, again, uh, from Mount Mountain Home, Glens Ferry, and through the Magic Valley will have those strong winds sweeping through. And these temperatures are still below average. Now, it feels nice outside in the springtime. These are below average. You're going to notice a big change in the weather pattern coming up as you look at my on your side extended forecast here. Heading into the weekend, 70 tomorrow, but 77 on Saturday. And I think the wind will be almost non existent on Saturday. So just an amazing day coming up on Saturday. On Sunday, a weak front will come through overnight and we'll probably pick up a breeze during the afternoon on Sunday, but it'll be a warm breeze at 84 degrees. But that breeze will then drop the temperature to 79, still warm on Monday. The winds will slacken and that ridge will build on in 84 Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday. And look at Thursday, I've got 94 degrees for the high temperature. A strong ridge of high pressure building on in. That is the heat, summertime heat coming in as we head towards the middle and latter part of next week. So this weekend perfectly placed with uh, temperatures warming up just above 80. And that's, I think a lot of people think that's, that's a good temperature. Oh, with those breezes down? It's Absolutely. Cool. Great. Plus, you know, if you're going to head to the higher elevations or you live yes. at the higher elevations, when it's 80 here, take off about 10 or sure. degrees. Right. So it'll be variable in the mountains so to get outside really enjoy it. Yeah. Excellent. Good, good. Coming up on today's Six on Your Side, first, the